What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne and welcome back to another Walking Dead Match 3 Tales video. That's right, it's a mouthful. The Walking Dead Match 3 Tales is out. I did a video last night. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It is an introduction video, but we're going to talk a little bit more about the actual game and where I'm at currently with my progression. Okay, so as you guys are aware, it is a puzzle game, match three type game, where you do the campaign. There's actually PvP mode, which I'll show you guys as well too. I'm just going to show you guys where I'm at right now. So I'm on the first world still. I'm on Wilshire Town, and I'm progressing through the story right now. As you can see, my stamina is recovering, and I will say, stamina is a major problem in this game. It takes three stamina to do one stage. If you level up, you get your stamina back. If you don't level up, you gotta wait unless you have these items kicking around in your backpack so let me just show you guys real quick what i'm talking about these travel packs i have four of them here which replenish your stamina horseshoes on the other hand is your pvp stamina and that also will be replenished using horseshoes you have obviously the 10k wood which gives you 10,000 wood for your town 10,000 food which allows you to build as well as level up your characters you get a free vip five day pass if you want to consume that a uh, four-star survivable emblem, which allows you to rank up your characters, a sweep ticket, and then a couple of recruit items along the way, and then some cheese, which allows you to refine exclusive gear, as well as take advantage of some of the 14-day packages instead of paying real-life money. You can use this instead, okay? So a couple of things people have asked me. So in the beginning, guys, when you start off, you're going to get yourself a four-star character to choose from. I personally chose Michonne. The blue version of her, you guys can see my roster. I found she was the best character for DPS. I was lacking a DPS character for blue. And at the same time, she provides a bleed and does immense damage. So I went with her. It's your choice who you want to go with in that case. But I thought she was the best choice for me personally. So let's go ahead and look at the rest of my progression. So in my town, right here, you guys can see I've been building away. And now I'm, I'm completely free to play. There is no money being spent here. And you guys can see my town is coming together. I am, of course, following the survival guide. You guys should all be doing this because as you complete this, they will give you additional resources and items. Now, I haven't played very much, but I have enough now to do a multi. So it does look like the resources in the beginning, at least, for, for summons do come in fairly quickly. And you're able to summon with tokens as well as gold. So let's go ahead and do a couple of these right now and see what, if we can get ourselves a brand new character. Okay, so we're going to do the regular summons here. And here's the animation. You see zombies are coming through. You kind of cut through the zombies. And then you, you save somebody, right? So we got Peter Anderson. He's a brand new rare. We'll skip that. Go ahead and do this again. And we'll do a multi at the end of all this, okay? The animation for a four-star does look different, just so you guys are aware. There you go. Denise Cloyd. She is an actual healer. So I'll probably add her into the mix as well. So there's another four-star for you. So, so far in terms of generosity like i said the beginning it's been fairly good uh haven't had too much lag the only downfall i've seen so far is the the difficulty of the game does scale really high at some point so you are going to have to level up your characters take some time off uh get your town up and then focus on there's maggie we got maggie nice uh and then focus on recruiting a few new characters as well too so i've been holding off my recruit for this specific video there's shane okay so we got a lot of rares here which is kind of nice. Obviously nice to get an epic or a five star. There's Dale. Okay, we got everybody there. Now I have enough to do a multi. So let's go ahead and do a multi and see what we get out of this. I haven't done one yet. So this will be interesting. Also there's daily recruits and then the search recruits to get some gear. Let's get some gear as well actually while we're at it. She has the animation for that. It's kind of cool. It's a locker. You break the locker down, you open up. Bam, get yourself a sheriff's revolver. It's kind of nice. So you can summon four either characters or you can summon for um, gear, okay? So just so you guys are aware. Now there's an also um, character, char uh, you can summon for specific factions. So this is aggressive characters. So this here you can switch like most other RPGs and then pick the one you want, but it does cost you quite a bit of currency. So this is more whale territory. I don't think anyone's gonna touch that for a while, but here we go. Let's go ahead and try to do a summon here and see if we get anybody else. I have enough, almost, almost enough for two multis, but we'll try the one multi first and see if we can get someone this is glenn so this is an epic glenn we've seen him before there's an epic uh carl so we got two like two epics back to back that's kind of nice sherry okay there's a governor another epic man i'm getting a lot of epics here there's eugene oh that's no, peter sorry i already have i have eugene as well to kind of look like him lily okay another dale Oh, the four-star deal. Okay, nice. We need a lot of four-stars here. 
This is Mor Morgan? Yeah, Morgan Cray Cray, man. Billy. So, no, I don't think I'm going to get a five star here from what it looks like. But I've got a lot of four stars. Look at that. One, two, three, four, four stars. That's actually pretty damn good, guys. So, there we go. Let's go take a look at some of them. Now, when you're building a team, you're, you're going to want to have a variety of characters, right? You're going to want to either have a rainbow team, which is multiple units from multiple factions, or you're going to want to have a mono team, depending on the fight that you're having. So sometimes you're going to fight mobs where there's like all greens, for example, right? So you're going to want to bring an all red team. Or if, or if you have a, like a multicolor team, then you want to bring multicolored units that can help you out. So let, let me show you guys what I'm talking about here, okay? So if I go to my roster now, you guys can see it's kind of growing, right? Let's go to the glossary. You guys can collect these little items here. It can be obtained as a replacement for the four or five star character used in the various market areas. So go ahead and get these things out of the way. Let's go get all the stuff done. Uh, let's go four stars. I think this is where most of it is anyways. The governor. There we go. And a couple things you guys should note as well too, that every character also has a faction they can go with, right? If you have the, the related survivors, they get a bonus from it as well too. So bonus stats from every time you connect them with their relative faction. So Michonne, for example, has I can put Glenn, the governor, if I have Andrea, Tyrese, and Rick, this will be incredible for her because it'll increase her stats as well as everybody else's. So you definitely want to have that group together if you possibly can. Let's go ahead and collect these as well. So far though, game has been stellar. Like it's it's been good in terms of gameplay. Uh, again, only issue I'm having is, of course, not being able to really play as much as I want to because of the stamina-related issues. But I'm also trying to be uh, resilient about using my items right away because I feel like this is too early on to be using them. I think they're better off being used later later on, right? There's some more packages here you can buy with your gold, by the way, if you decide to instead of summoning. So that's an option as well, too. These things you're going to have to unlock eventually. And these are what those tokens are for, right? You guys can see here a couple tokens. You get 20 of these per month. So if I want to buy this, for example... This is going to allow me to do more summons. This is going to allow me to do more gear. So let's go ahead and get those two things and go back into the summon section and try another recruit and see if we can get ourselves a five star this time. Okay, that's kind of the goal here. There's a couple of featured five stars. Okay, Aaron. Okay, we've got uh, Eric already. These are all, I think, just extras. Donna? Oh, Olivia, okay, no. All right, this is Sherry. All three stars so far. This has actually been nowhere near as good as my last one. Herschel, okay. We got Herschel there. Oh, Gabriel. God, I hate it, Gabriel. Oh, damn. We got ourselves Dwight. Another Dale. So this has actually been a really bad pull in, in comparison. Another Dale as well. So we did get ourselves a green Dwight at least, which is kind of nice. All right, so there you guys have it. That's how the summoning works. If you guys are looking for gameplay, I will show you guys more gameplay very soon. Uh, for now, I might actually end up leveling him up. We'll do one more recruit here. We'll do, and you guys can see there's a pity down there, right? Another Herschel. Uh, 70 pulls gives you a unit, I believe, of your choice. Let me go down there and check, make sure that's the case. Uh, you receive a random highest grade reward. Highest grade reward, so it's random. It's going to be one of these three characters for sure, whether it's Michonne, Rick, or Glenn, okay? So just so you guys are aware of that. Um, these ones only offer three-star characters. This, of course, we have a token for. Let's just see if we get something better than a three-star weapon this time. No, Ser Sheriff's item again. Sheriff's revolver, okay. So there you guys go. And again, in terms of actual progression, uh, right now where I'm currently at, it's getting a little tougher. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in terms of setting up your, your account or your team based on the the level you're on right so it's gonna be a sec to load in and it's it's important that you guys do have multiple characters from different colors and factions because it will make a difference in your actual progression all right so here let me show you guys what i'm what i'm referring to if i go to campaign right so for example here i got a two star on one of these levels right or one star actually because i have red 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 and a green and what I needed to do is avoid having a death and 20 turns. Now, what I don't understand, and I will admit this, is I don't have they don't have the CP for the enemies, like the the, the, co the combat power. So that's something that they're going to have to hopefully work on and increase. But this is the current team, right? So now, because I'm fighting a couple reds and one green, ideally I want to run red and blue, right? A red and blue team. But because I have two blues, 
a yellow and a green really not doing much for me so i want to have more blues more reds and avoid the the yellows and the the greens if i can right and that'll actually end up helping you a lot more if you do auto set it kind of sets it up for you a little bit but you still want to have again more blues in here because i don't really have very many blues so carl will be a good choice because there are so many reds in there right so i will probably throw carl in instead and that will probably make more sense and here you guys can see this team is a little more balanced in regards to what's going on. So even here, I could probably throw in the governor, have more reds and blues again. He can probably get out. I don't even need him. He's not even a, a character that's required in this stage, so I can probably throw her in or him in. Actually, probably throw her in. There we go. And that'll assist with the um, attack or, again, throw in another red to make it more evened out. But that's what I'm talking about. Like You definitely need to have different... You definitely need to have different formations based on what you're fighting. So make sure, guys, when you're playing this game, every character is going to count specifically because of their faction and their colors and their skills. So make sure you're not you're just not doing auto set like I just I just showed you an example. But make sure you actually go through the skills and understand you need a healer, a buffer, a couple attack units, and you'll be good to go. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.